By the end of this video, you will be able to delete measures in the music software MuseScore. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have MuseScore open, and I've got a project that I'm working on here. So in order to delete a measure, you're going to want to first select the measure that you would like to delete. So I'm looking at my project here, and let's say I want to delete measure number two. Now this is going to delete everything in this measure, including the violin one part and the piano part that I've got there too. So I'm going to go ahead to select the measure. You want to click somewhere in the middle. It can be kind of tricky to find, but usually if you click somewhere in the middle, you can select the measure. Once you've selected the measure, there will be a blue box that appears around the measure like you see here. So now that I've got the whole measure selected, I'm going to now press Control Delete. So now that I press Control Delete, you can see it deleted that entire measure. Now to undo, you can push Control Z. I believe on a Mac it's Command Delete, but to double check, what you need to do is have that measure selected and then go up to Tools on the top left hand side and then you're going to go down to Remove Selected Range. So whatever it says there, see it says Control Delete. Whatever computer you're working on, it'll have the command that you can use so you'll be able to see exactly how to delete the measure. This is another way to delete that measure, by the way. So I can go up to Tools and then Remove Selected Range. I'm going to click that. And you can see that removed the measure as well. Again, to undo anything, you push Control Z, or you can go up to Edit and then Undo. Now, let's say you clicked on this video, and what you actually want to do is move a measure to another system. You don't want to delete the measure. What you can do is use the breaks and spacers. So in the palettes on the left-hand side, you'll see there's a breaks and spacers palette. And again, you can click that open with the drop down here. And the first one there is the system break. And so that's the easiest one to use. So let's say I wanted the last two measures here to be on the next system down. What I need to do is put a system break right here on this measure. So to insert a break, you can do it two ways. You can either click and drag, and so I'm gonna drag that to this one. This is gonna make this the last measure of this system. And so you can see now that's the last measure, so four measures instead of six. And these two measures will put on the second system. In order to delete a break, you can see it's kinda of gray here on the right-hand side. I'm gonna click it, it'll turn blue, and I can press delete. If you just wanna delete the notes in a measure and not the measure itself, Again, you select the measure by clicking in the middle and then just press delete. And so that will delete the notes in that measure, but not the measure itself. The measure will stay in place. You now know how to delete a measure within MuseScore. I have other MuseScore tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.